Political protest groups are getting ready to head to what Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler is calling a listening session. It is a public meeting with the mayor and the Portland police chief over some controversial text between the police bureau and the head of the Patriot Prayer Group. And this afternoon, Portland police just released more text showing Lieutenant Jeff Nia had also reached out to Occupy Portland, Black Bloc, and other left-wing groups before protests in June of 2017. Our Lisa Balick is live in Northeast Portland now digging deeper into this. Lisa? Well, there are a lot of police security that are here, and we have seen them all afternoon. We're expecting a lot of security both inside and outside for this listening session that will begin at 6 o'clock. Now, we're in a residential neighborhood, but political activists have posted calls both online and on flyers for their people to show up here. We saw these unofficial flyers on several blocks by the church put up by someone warning about alt-right violent agitators attending the meeting, and they were also promoting a Democratic Socialist rally here in about an hour. Now, Joey Gibson Facebook page asked his supporters to show up respectfully, saying the listening session is going to be slander against his group and the police. The topic is concern about possible PPB bias towards Patriot Prayer after what some call overly friendly texts between a police lieutenant in charge of crowd control and Joey Gibson. But now, as you mentioned, police have just released friendly texts between the lieutenant and left-wing groups before and during demonstrations back in 2017. Now, the Portland Police Bureau has announced it will be doing a weapon screening of people coming in here. That will start at about 515. We will be here and we will bring it to you live. Live in Northeast Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. Right, of course, the police union saying this is all standard procedure, sending those text messages. We'll continue to follow this story on air and we have a coverage of the listening session as well as any protests that come out of it. For the very latest updates, you can check coin.com.